Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. We've made a mistake. On the floor plan, Section F just looks like a little laundry room. We looked for it when we first searched the U-boat after you captured it, but we didn't see the entrance door. And with all the things we were worrying about back then, I suppose we didn't bother looking too closely. But now I've re-examined the floor plan and there's a reference to a completely different document. The engineering map of Section F. I'll report back as soon as I find it. All right, here we go. We have a floor grade. Jump up and press the crouch button to do a power slam. And go into the creepy crawl events. Pop out here. And run down this way. And that was a depth charge. You're going to have to deal with that throughout this level. Grab the health here. One, two. Up you go. If you don't have any hatchets, you can get some right here. There's one right here. Grab some more health here. Boom, boom, boom. Going down this way. There's our first customer. Aim just above him. There we go. Grab the hatchet off the dartboard. It's going to be another guy just off to your left. There he is. Hatchet throw him. Retrieve your hatchets. If the game will let you. Sometimes the game rips you off. Don't rip me all the way, buddy. Okay, sneak up on these guys. Had to throw this guy. Wait for the other guy. There we go. And just as a safety precaution, put a glue bomb right there and wait. Sometimes the guy comes down the stairs. There he is. And Booyah base. <laughs> just love it. And that should be it. Retrieve your hatchets. And if you didn't break open these boxes, break them open because there's 100 health here. Grab that so you get like really overcharged and let's continue. It's going to be a couple of enemies way up ahead. You could do a long shot with a hatchet throw by aiming above. They always fire in a kind of an arc so you kind of have to like, you know, just eyeball it. There we go. <laughs> and... There we go. Let's put another glue bomb down there just in case the third guy comes out. Just as a safety measure. Oh, we're good. Retrieve your hatchets. Retrieve the glue bomb. Get another hatchet there and refill your glue bomb gun. Here. Excellent. That's it. Here's the way to continue. Jump and press the crutch button to do a power slam. And William, Anya's going to do her thing again. Palace tank, nuclear warhead stockpile. Oh my god. Section F stretches along the entire hull of the U-boat, and we're on the biggest U-boat in the world, so this section is gigantic. Some of it must serve as a main ballast tank or something, because it's a massive volume. Be careful, William. No telling how many Nazis could be hiding in there. All right. Grab some armor here. Get on the lift and ride on up. Whee! Over you go. Now, three health pickups here and two more health pickups here. We're going to pick these all up as quickly as possible and then race down this way. This is going to kind of like break away a little bit and throw you on your ass. Just pick yourself up and try to continue as quickly as possible if that happens. Well, not if, when it happens. Three health, two more health. One thing you can do is jump here and it can help you recover a lot quicker. And then run down here, up the ladder. This is a breakaway catwalk too. This always happens. Brush yourself off and continue this way down here as quick as you can. Bit of a, some water here. If you look up and jump, you won't get submerged, which is a lot better because if you go underwater, sometimes it's kind of finicky to get out. Okay, now we got it. we're coming up to a checkpoint. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do now because as soon as we go past this checkpoint, Anya's going to come on, come on with another little blurb. Perfect timing, just when you're trying to stealth down two commanders. Okay, there's two commanders in this area. What we're going to do is we're going to take the stairs on the left down and then 
push north like that and there's going to be a guy right in front of us as soon as we go through the door. We're going to have to throw him, turn to the left, go down here a little bit, turn north again. There's going to be a commander right there. Have to throw him, look up, do a glue bomb. You'll see another commander up on the catwalk. Do a glue bomb there, blow the glue bomb, and that's both commanders down within one minute. All right, that's the plan. Let's do it. William, those Nazis have been surviving in there ever since you captured the U-boat five months ago. Hatchet. They must be starving and desperate. Hatchet throw. Stay safe, darling. There's the commander. Blue bomb. Both commanders down. Now you can just wait here. And anybody that comes, glue bomb them to kingdom come. See a guy up there. Typically these they come down the stairs. And watch your flank here. The great thing about the glue bomb gun is that you don't have to be accurate. All you have to do is just get it near them. You know, so it's great if you're not like that good at aiming. <laughs> All you have to do is just get it near them and blow it and they're dead. Unlike the laser gun, which you have to hit them dead on, you know, so that's one key difference. And also can take out, you know, more than one, which is one bomb. Now what you're waiting for is Anya to start talking about the nuclear warheads. When you hear her do that, the area is clear. Okay, still a couple of guys here. Usually like just camp here. Here comes somebody right there. <laughs> Dude! Oh man! Yeah, that's the great thing about the glue bomb. You can plan. You can like lay traps. You can see people coming. Shoot in advance. Okay, the game wants to play funny with me. Here we go. Right down there. Did we get him? Well, there we go, we got him. I took a closer look at the stockpile of nuclear warheads in Section F. According to the engineering map, there's dozens of warheads in there. Let's hope the Nazis haven't tampered with them. See, so that's our cue that the area is clear. And once again, you saw, you know, I didn't even have a line of fire on that guy. I just knew he was down there. Pop out a couple of glue bombs and blow him. <laughs> shooting in the dark here, boss. All right, shooting in the dark, there's like. Okay, so refill your fantastic glue bomber there. Let's take a look at our ammo situation. Full pistol, full assault rifle, and full SMG. So we're full up across the board. Load up your assault rifle. That's not the assault rifle slack. Attaboy. And here's some armor. Hate to waste all that armor on just I just need like one. But we're not coming back here. And I'm gonna show you a little overcharged health route that we're gonna do. Two times forty here. Two times forty here again and break open this crate in advance and you got another 40 there so that's 200 health right there what's this over here okay might as well grab this there top off my armor All right so we're going to do that and then run down here and go to the objective continue point right there that's the plan let's do it boom boom Boom, boom. Totally overcharged. Through here and up the ladder. Caroline. Don't think I'm gonna make it. A few more weeks, maybe. With your grace. Okay, now here there could be some guys coming down the stairs, so watch it. Now this area, it doesn't matter if you blow your cover because there's only a finite number of enemies. I think there's only five. Once you kill them, the commander is actually inside a room and he can't really call in any more reinforcements. 
So all you have to do is kill these five guys. There's the guy right up there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that really thinned their numbers. We can go over here. Here we go, there's another guy. And I know there's one more there. Just want to make sure it's clear before I continue. Okay, I think we're good. All right. Check the ammo. Full, full, full. Assault rifle is what you want. Okay, we got some health here. That's about it. So let's grab the health. And go take care of the commander. Now one thing you could blow that door there. Quiet Blaskowitz. I'm fine away. Doing a walkthrough here. <laughs> you could blow that door there and you, and go in there and take care of the commander, but I don't recommend it. You're much better off going up top here. And you can look right down in on him. And there he is right there. And overcharge heal. Now this part is going to be really hellacious. This is the signal, the, the transmission room that we have to destroy. Like I said, you could go through that door there and try to take cover in there, but it's really hellacious because that whole wall is going to be blown to smithereens. So it's not going to provide much cover and your vis visibility is going to be terrible. I highly recommend that instead you take cover up here. All right. Now you're in crouch mode. Now one thing you can do as you're holding down the lean button if you hold back on the while holding down the lean button, you can make BJ go down like that. Okay, see? So that if you hold back, this is while holding the lean button, and then hold left, you can peek out like that. So what you want to do is find the perfect position so that you can see this laser right here, because that's that's your nemesis. That's the most deadly weapon that they've got. They're gonna send guys up to man that laser every once in a while. So you gotta watch that. So you gotta. Watch that, and you're going to watch this position right here, because they always tend to congregate around there. All right? So that's it. Try to position yourself like that. Use the lean button, lean back, and then lean to, from side to side. Get a line of fire on those two positions, and do them all the way, and you should be good. Now, if I could just... Uh, let me just throw a grenade in here. That didn't do it. Okay, I don't want to, because I got the perfect position here. Okay. Thank you, William. The Asmets is losing track of us now. Find your way back to the locker room. Bombate will let you out of there. Count your kills, people. That's two. Go semi-auto if you can. There's a guy trying to man the laser. I think I got him. I'm gonna call that three. Now stay right here. That's four. That's five. Is the guy manning the laser again? That's six. When you get to nine or ten, the commander's gonna say, we need more backup. That's your cue. There's a, there's either 12 or 13 guys in here. I lost count. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, we have a cue. 
I'm doing live commentary. I can't rub my tummy and pat my head at the same time. Anyway, so now I'm looking for the queue. We need more backup. That'll indicate that there's only two or three enemies left. There's guy in the laser again. Down he goes. Watching the subtitles. There we go. You hear that? You see that? We need more backup. That means there's only two or three guys left. So now I'm going to count my kills from here. One. I hear the other guy. That's two. And that should be it. There should be only one guy left at the most. So now it's safe to go down. When you pop down, run across here to take cover just in case. Watch carefully. Grab some overcharged health. What's going to happen is the commander is going to advance. They'll give you a tour of the area afterwards. After everything's clear. You can get overcharged here. Grab some armor if you need it. And the commander should be right down there. He's going to move out of position because now he's desperate. There's the laser. Don't take the laser, whatever you do. It's going to take you too long to take it, just in case there's somebody there. And you see, he's only about 34 meters away. Let's see if we can get him with a whole bunch of... Uh, just lay him out there. And if that didn't get him, he's going to bring him out. There he is. And the area is clear. Alright, that's how to totally pwn this area. Even Mr. Fumblefingers can do this. <laughs> okay, so let's make sure the area is clear. Grab the Enigma code. I guess you forgot to pick up the Enigma codes in the other area. I always do this. Yeah, I forgot. Damn it. See, the, 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 you know why I do this? It's because this is the most useless perk there is. All it does is after you get a whopping 50 Enigma codes, all you get is one second added on to the time it takes for a commander to signal an alarm. That's your bonus. That's your reward. So unless you're really into the side missions and solving that little puzzle thing at the end, I, I'm really not that much into the Enigma codes. I want just enough to do just enough side missions to, um, well, I don't want to do any spoilers, so I'll talk about that later. But you need just enough to do that, and you know, so I don't need to collect them all. But you should collect them all. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay, here's where the commander is by default. This is where he hangs out. When you blow away all his guys, he'll typically advance and come up and hang out here just below the laser right there. All right, so that's that. Um, I think we only need assault rifle ammo. Yes, so let's go collecting that. Should be a lot of assault rifle ammo here. Okay, so we got that one at least. So how many did I forget so far? Three. Dang it. Mr. Spotter is going to have a field day. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the uh, the transmission room. There's some uh, grenades there and some assault rifle ammo. Grenades. Give me the other one. Come on. Come on, baby. You know you want it. Come on. 
Come on. This one's still thing. Here we go. And some assault rifle ammo here. And we're full. Full up across the board. Let's get out of here. Let's get the F out of Dodge. This is the way to continue. Up the ladder. You don't really need that. There's no more enemies. In here. This is gonna break away when you when you go on it, so be ready. And this is where you first started. Come out here. Get out of here now. Don't forget to recharge your laser or or if you have the laser gun. Or your glue bomb, because this is their last chance to do so before you go into the next mission. You're gonna go into the next mission with what you have now. You can collect some ammo um on the Eva's hammer, but not diesel fuel or laser juice. Right? So that's it. We're done. and now everyone is expecting me to pick up the torch. All right? Hey, I mean, look at me, man. I can't even find a pair of headphones. All right, I failed the leadership course at Harvard, for Pete's sake. I know I put them here somewhere. Where the heck are they? Oh! Hey, will this ringing not stop, for Christ's sake? You can't give up, Why? We don't do that. I'm not stupid, Captain. I saw the look in your eye up there when Frau Angle had you under her thumb. All right, the fire is gone out, and you're just on autopilot now until you hit the wall. Am I wrong, Captain? Oh, thank God. I, um... Uh, I salvaged some stuff at Jay's, you know, from the old Berlin hideout. Some old recordings and things, just on. Just for keep sake. That boy could play the hell out the guitar, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he liked it loud. I'll see you around, boy. Later, Captain. Hey, Captain. Would you go see Sen? He wants to... Give you a, a physical or something, you know, just, just see how you're doing. I think he's in his workshop. Set. He knows as well as I do. What I got, he can't cure. And we're going to take care of that next video. As for this video, that's it. 
And what you just saw, that is the stealth run to return to Hangar Bay and the stealth commando run through Section F took about 50 practice runs. No joke, that's no, exa no exaggeration to work out all those strategies. And that's probably an understatement, if anything. Uh, and what you just saw was pretty much a textbook run through all those areas, according to all my notes about these two levels. And yet, after working on YouTube for over nine years, I know that the legacy of this video is going to be that I forgot to pick up the, all those Enigma codes, which I don't even care about. So you watch and see how many people ignore all my hard work and start posting comments about that. Ah, dang it. Anyway, but you, you are different, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks for being different. Thanks for watching. And um, if you want to keep uh, help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it if you went on over to my Patreon page and made a small donation. You can donate as little as $1, but if you want to donate more, that'd be great. All right. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And see you next video.